You might remember a little while ago I made a video on random 5 for 5 towers against FaZe, and not to spoil it too much, it didn't quite go out the way I planned it, so we're getting revenge today. Gonna have another go at it, because as you know, random towers will always pretty much lead to different results every single game, so I think what did me in last time is, honestly, I wasn't aggressive enough. I need, I need to be more aggressive and just spamming towers randomly and hoping they become from server games so I can snowball faster. Who knows, we can maybe get a little bit of good mojo with a map switch on the map carved here. The face this pumpkin makes in carved is the face we will make after we beat tier 5 face here. So don't want me as I just randomly upgrade and look, just by being, I guess, slightly aggressive, we have uh, our first farm. So let's get a new tower because I think this blade can last quite a long time. Now again, just to those who are new to the random 5 by 5 series, basically random towers is balanced in a way that it will get you a tower that's between 20% above or below the cost. On top of that, backing out of the game at all will reset my towers. Now, uh, they did do a little bit of a quote-unquote fix for that. However, I noticed that when you put this in combination with a boss mod, it still doesn't seem to work, as in it still randomizes, which is uh, unfortunate. Again, aggressive, me aggressive means I'm even going to skip the camo, even though the shimmer is really good. We still have many rounds to uh, keep on getting something better. Let's go make money later, so we keep that, for sure. So with all those explanations out of the way, we shall focus on strategy. So I also did the slide testing, and I'm pretty sure that Discount Village, like, does work. So we'll make sure, well, hopefully, yeah, yeah, I'll make sure to upgrade, like, tier 1, 2, 3 towers, so that we get the 10% discount, and the game will still take into account the fact that, like, the plus 20 or minus 20% will be, like, the original cost of the whole tower. So every time we do this, we are indeed saving money. Nice, we got two discounts, although they don't stack because not two, two. Nope. Oh, there we go, Merchant Man. See? Just like that. Two farms before round 30. Last time I played phase, I didn't get any of that at all. No farms till like, I think, round 40 or something like that. Nope. Nope. Mm, okay, it's eight rounds till round 40. I think I will keep Shimmer. So you see, because of this aggression here, we don't have any... We're not prepared at all for Tier 1. Um, but we do have a Mark Place, and a 0 and a 0 3 So now, we actually focus. So first off, uh, we gotta get something better than Jitsu. And this. Nice. Now we really can't focus up, because this is a huge head start. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the money comes in a little bit faster than this, so I can... Quickly get some decent enough. This is... Definitely pretty weak. Come on. Oh my god, so many farms today. Sometimes too much farms is maybe not a good thing. I also think I have to stop upgrading towers near here because, like, this is the good zone for uh, towers that can do damage to phase. So even though it does less damage uh, or it's more expensive, I just have to. And also, we're, we're not going to stop at any mid options. We just have to go for a very good one, so... Okay, this is more than mid. If only I had that, you know... Red Hot ranks for even more damage, but yeah. This is some pretty good chunking we have. But I must get something else with my 3k. I'm gonna see if I get... Oh, Fire to Plane. Yep. I think we're good here. Carved is a pretty long boy map, so I think I'm free to risk it and upgrade towers around the discount again. 333. This is another permanent decamo option. In fact, it's better in case, like, FaZe gets to the right side. So I think I'm gonna swap out Shimmer, yeah? Sure. Uh, we have another decamo here. I think at this, like, this early on in the game, we shouldn't settle for multiple of them. Eventually, we'll get another one again. Oh, nice, another fire plane. Again, we'll keep this until uh, we beat phase. I think another one of my problems in the past was that I was keeping towers after phase was beaten in hopes they'll be used for, for tier 2, but I shouldn't do that because, yeah, I can't fire plane for tier 3 phase. That's not going to do anything. We just really have to go for, like, the really... Big boy options. Uh, um, this is not good enough. Three fighter planes. Again, we'll just keep it temporarily. In the meantime, I guess the druid can go. See if we get anything. Assassin. Okay, again. I'll keep it until tier one dies. Frog is actually pretty slow, but that probably has to do with the fact that we're missing a large DPS in the boomerang. Oh, nice. You got a balloon trap over here. I guess I'll... Yeah, this counts as income. I think I can maybe have a graze the left side. It's just missing, like... The small bit, smallest bit of range, if, if that's the case. Unlucky. But for now, it's still useful cobbling up these uh, SRAMs here. Last goal. And let's get this over with, please. 
also collect damn <laughs> 17k this is the richest I've ever been so far in a you know random 5 5 boss battle let's see you got a spiked mines uh, uh, this is this will be our uh, D camo now GG tier 1 that was pretty easy and again we have so much money to work with uh, there shouldn't be a problem uh, re-rolling a lot to get the tower we, we want later so uh, this can go uh, this can go uh, this can go too nice farm nice another farm at this point we probably used up all the luck for the next like three random five of five challenges hopefully not the case though all right now let's try to build back defense and we shouldn't like uh skimp out let's try to go for some very strong high tier stuff embrittlement gives you plus one so i will keep once again, do not settle for anything subpar. Somehow, even though I have, like, no damage towers on the screen, base is actually getting chunked quite a bit, which is a pleasant surprise. Let's now uh, get rid of Fan Club, because I didn't like that. I personally don't even like this. Again. Monkey City, it's a farm. Let's get a new tower. Alright, another farm. My goodness. Okay, now I'd like the, the tides to shift a little bit. Please and thanks, game. Uh, here's this. We got an 044 Spike Storm. Uh, let's just see how much damage it does. That'll why if I want to keep it or not. No, only 1,000. I think, yeah. Getting IMF flow is much better. Honestly, we have so many farms, we can probably just get rid of the zero, zero, zeros. They're eating up a lot of good real estate. We're still getting a lot of mediocre options, I see. Also, I just realized I don't even have to collect the the banks because they have the banana salvage, which is very nice, very convenient. Let's get rid of this guy. I think we can go uh, bigger and better. Sticky bomb. Nope. Absolute zero. And nope. Crossmaster, uncross path, nah. Central market gets my seal approved, but yeah, look at this. Also, what is shooting rings? Is that my boomerang shooting rings? Well, any anyways, uh, yeah, I, I need damage now. We've only done one quarter in phases, like, I, I don't think it's halfway, but I don't like it. I can't tell, my ace is doing damage, but I think it's too little damage. And it's bug. Okay, call the arms is good. If I had towers to increase damage of. Okay, now I'm thinking I probably should have kept, like, at least one of the okay towers, like, I don't know, some fighter planes. Because, yeah, I'm still, I'm not getting anything right now. This might be okay. Yeah, look at this, I have too much money and, and like, not enough. I'm not spending it fast enough. Um, another spike mines? No. Overclock? Yes. Well, overclock this 331. I guess that's the best thing. Called arms, blue strike for even more damage. Is it the, actually, it, I think it's the ninja shooting. It's hard to tell what's shooting the boomerangs, but uh, that's welcome. It's actually whatever was Turbo Torch initially. I think that's what's it. And it looks like, okay, maybe I was concerned over nothing because we are going to uh, beat FaZe with plenty of time to spare. Okay, but I don't think I can get away with like mediocre towers uh, for the next year or so. Uh, I think, yeah, again, I have enough farm, so I'm going to focus the next six rounds uh, on just randomizing to something bigger and better. Like, we could really use a 5 for 5, so I'm gonna get some tier 5s now. Sphere of the Force is, it's like, okay boss damage, not great. It makes money, though, so yeah, let's, uh, try to spend big on another tower here. Oh, and yeah, the cool thing about Overclocks, too, is that you use it as a flex. As in, like, overclock your farms when you need money, and, or, overclock your damage towers. What's not to love? Perma charge we got, but, again, there's a lot of rounds still. I think I'll keep Grandmaster. After all, Glue Strike plus 2 damage probably works pretty well on it. Spending big on another one. Getting lots of first strikes here, aren't we? I think I got this, the first strike like five different times. <laughs> that is uh, strange. Another clock. I think it's about time we swap out this central market here. Or oh, sorry, the marketplace, because I had... It was only on cross path. Nope. Nope. Oh, crap. This thing actually ate up all my farms. How much money is it making, though? Okay, I think it's about 5,000 around. That's not bad, actually. It, it frees up space. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. BRF. Jungle's bounty. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get rid of this. Uh, it's... No, I should have kept Blue Storm. I wasn't thinking fast enough. I also should have kept Energizer. Okay, I have a Chinook, which I think I'll keep because I can use that to move maybe the Spear of the Forest, for example, in a better position. Like, get yeah, all my damage I was on the Monkey Town, so I make extra money. Okay, seriously though, 30,000 uh, money. We must get spin money into your five. Preemptive, no. A oh, Avatar Wrath. There it is. Yep, I'm pretty sure overclocked Avatar Wrath is all we need. Again, let's try to clear out the space here for uh, 
better attacks by moving the support ones, like, away. Should be an easy win here, right? Combo called arms and overclock. I guess for my next Chinook here, I should save it on moving the Avatar Breath to the other side. Just so I, again, keep up DPS. Like this, you know what I mean? Even with the only half uptime on attacking, should be definitely more than enough. How much money do I have? 65? Okay. I've just been expecting it the last 5 minutes when I really could have, uh... Maybe even got another tier 5 to help me out. This Glue Strike, Glue Storm is only 1-5-0. Skip. Elite Sniper? Nah. I want to go big here. Nope. Tech Terror? Nah. No for Pod. Another After Wrath? That, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, greatest thing about this random 5-5 five five Towers mod is that you can get multiple tier 5s. Cripple Moab? Okay. The only way I lose at this point is if I legitimately just, like, sell all my towers. Alright, final burst, and GG. Uh, I should make sure for tier 4, put both Avatar Wraths next to each other. Because I would assume they do give the pop buffs each to each other, too. It feels like I blinked in all of a sudden, I'm at 278k, so... Uh, I don't remember if I've ever randomized to, like, a uh, Paragon before, but yes, that is possible. In all likelihood, it is degree 1. Now, Ultra Boost ain't bad, so I'm, I'm gonna keep it and uh, try to give 10 stacks on... Oh, with Avatar Rats here. I can probably get rid of the... Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Spear of the Force here. That's what you thought was probably good, but yeah, I don't want to deal with spamming a bunch of, bunch of other towers. Perma Charge. 5 5 4 is more like it. What else? What else? 4 5 5 this time. Uh, which one's better? I think this one's better because it, it originally was a Druid, so you see it has two uh, Popless buffs. Sure. Uh, two of... I, I can't I can't go wrong with two Ultra Boosts. It's a great day to have twins, I guess. So here is tier four. We're already back up to 89k, so uh, what I okay, energizer I will uh, take in case I get yeah, it, it will increase the damage of the perma charge. Definitely worth. And yeah, because I have energizer, I should make sure to, you know, utilize Shinook 2 to my advantage. Let's get five ultra boost stacks on this guy. And watch the damage threat. Take a lot of DPS. Gotta love it. Zero DPS, guys. <laughs> Very strong Avatar Wrath. All jokes aside though, what else should I do? Other than just, like, watch. Also, the damage is not very good in this thing. Actually, I lied. It's doing more damage than the Avatar Wrath here. Alright, stand corrected. Plus, we don't have enough, a lot of Ultra Boost on this yet. I have no idea where that Glaive is ricocheting to, but there must be some invisible balloon off screen. That's my only bet. Actually, no, it's probably because it's attempting to target. No, I don't know. I was gonna say it was because it was camo, but no, it's just <laughs> the boomerang decides to activate, like, extra ricochet. It seems to have been fixed now. Also, 10 Ultra Boost now on this guy, and how much on this guy? 9. Yeah, we're pretty much close to the max. There's even a chance could, this could be tier 5, but I'm not going to chance it with the 200k I have. Alright, Blue Strike, this, 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 burst it down, and GG's to phase. So, one Paragon, please and thank you. I got a Temple. I don't think... I don't know what happens if I if I use... If I press an ability. Yeah, I swear, from, from playing random 5-5 tests before, it sacrifices everything in range, so do not... I repeat, do not press any upgrades. It's all good, though. We got a 4 0 5 uh, Elite Defender to make up for that. I think I'll keep this, because it... If it does damage of a main Moab, then... That is, uh, very... That's, like, the power of 13 Elite Defenders. Alright, what else can we get to guarantee us to win? Uh, anti Bloon? Permanent Okay, there we go. Super Brittle as well. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll just... Uh, maybe I'll just give this a shot, like, without even getting Paragon. I don't know, it might be fun to see, like, how it fares compared to if we just got Paragon Auto Wind, or Auto 1. Sorry, English.exe stop working for a second. Uh, DPS 2700 is probably decent, considering it's, like, one of my five insane damage towers, speaking of which. I'm gonna move this up here. Use Call Arms. Use this. What else have we not 10 Ultra, ultra Boost yet? Uh, the Boomerang, I guess. So, yeah, what do you guys think of the damage so far? Personally, I think it could be it could be even faster. Yeah, well, let's try to get maybe one more damage out. There we go. Sky Shredder's decent, especially since all of them seek. Who needs top tier Ace Micro when you can just buy Never Miss Darts? Why didn't anyone think of that? It's so easy. Here's the halfway mark, and yep, it, it's looking pretty good. I gotta say, that's probably one of the cleanest runs of 5 of 5 towers like I've ever done. Not to keep jerking myself off or anything like that, but yeah, my approach for the previous ones were pretty subpar. So I'm glad. Yeah, I fixed that. Also, I don't know why I skipped Homeland, but... Oops. I guess we shouldn't skip Supermines. We'll just Shinnok get back over here. Also, is this a backwards face of Supermines? I think it is. It does not look like that. Yeah, that, that skull is upside down. You know, the actual greatest thing about this mod is that you can see towers and from angles that you've never seen before. Love to see it. Again, we are pretty much auto one, but I like to just see if I... 
can randomly summon to a Paragon. Well, we got a 5-5 tower, at least. That counts. Alright, let's see if we can quickly get something. Uh, Anti-Balloon? Nope. 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 Another temple. Okay, do not press that button. Sure, we can get rid of Super Mines. We got another Super Mines. Super Mines again. I'm kind of scared that we're getting this far if it ends up crashing. But luckily, again, that has not been the case so far. Another 5 5 tower. That's okay. Maybe the Paragon can wait for another challenge. Once again, GG. If you have any other ideas for what to do with Ram 5 5 towers, then uh, leave uh, it in the comments below. And also make sure the challenge is uh, at least harder than. Uh, normal face here. Subscribe for more, and peace out.